or cortisol. Yeah. Cortisol is the slower, more strategic hormone that manages a longer stress response. It orders a total shift of all body systems, ramping up the fuel supply while suppressing all non-essential functions like resting, disease defense, or digestion. Boer's body isn't his own anymore, it belongs to stress. Finally, Boer the bear smasher... Yeah, cortisol is the biggest issue today. Okay, example, you must have gone through a period of time, whether for exams or whatever. You do unhealthy things like don't sleep as much, don't eat as much and stress over something. Over time, that stress becomes like a, not as a problematic as it, it was at the start. It just becomes a thing you do. You, you feel all right with it. Like, yeah, this is my life. I'm doing this. And you have this motivation, the light at the end of the tunnel because I'm going to achieve something. That few days go by and you just feel shitty, doesn't matter what. Even if you try to enjoy something the way you used to, you can't right now. Cortisol is insanely high in you. This is why. And a lot of people's life is such a way that their cortisol is always higher. Because they're always grinding at that stage. And at that point, joy just goes away. You, if, if there's a food you probably enjoyed, you can't do that. Even if you like in a vacation watching a sunset and eating food. And if anything, like you might try to rush back to work even at your vacation because like your mind is kind of trying to focus on that now. Because cortisol is high and stress is also telling you focus on the important. And people don't break out of this cycle. This is why a lot of companies nowadays, not because companies are good, because they were forced, uh, I guess, by government or something, basically forces you to go to vacations, right? I mean, there are countries who does that. I don't know if every country does that. But they literally forces you. Now, man, you have to take a rest. Like it's mandatory for shit like this.